I expect South Dakota State tight end Tucker Kraft to be a top 100 pick. I have him at 78 on my board and he's my sixth ranked tight end. And I think there's a clear top five tier in this class, but after that, Tucker Kraft is the best option if you're looking for a true wide tight end. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you wanna see my full draft board, I have that up at a to z sports.com. The link to that is in the description below. And we're gonna be doing a live stream of all three days of the draft on this channel. So make sure to join us for that. We've got a lot of cool stuff planned. Tucker Craft was an unranked recruit in the 2019 class, and he had somewhat of a breakout season in 2021 with 65 receptions, 770 yards, and six touchdowns. And according to Dane Brugler's draft guide, he turned down six figure offers at schools like Alabama to stay at South Dakota to state and have what was expected to be his full breakout year but he ended up missing the first half of the season with an ankle injury and so his production wasn't at the level that everyone was expecting only 348 yards and three touchdowns last year so when you combine the limited amount of tape that we have to go off of and the fact that he was playing against a really low level of competition this is a difficult evaluation but i think he's shown enough on tape and he has the athletic traits that should translate to the nfl i don't know if i've ever seen a more well-rounded athletic profile than tucker craft outside of hands size and arm length, every single drill or measurement was between 70th and 80th percentile. And when you watch him play, he really looks like an 80th percentile athlete. Against FCS competition, he was pretty much always the best athlete on the field, but his athletic advantage wasn't so overwhelming that he was just dominant. He's explosive off the line of scrimmage, he gets into his routes quickly, and he has the speed to be effective attacking the seams, but he isn't a quick or shifty route runner. The shuttle and three cone drills I think are kind of misleading. He rounds a lot of his breaks, and he doesn't really have the ability at this point to plant one foot and then accelerate in the opposite direction. He needs a couple steps to gather himself and regain that momentum. But when you look at tight ends around the league, there's very few that are actually route running technicians. A lot of what wins in the NFL is just size and speed and Tucker Craft has that. He's really effective after the catch, and this is an area where the dominance over his level of competition really stands out. He's forced 25 missed tackles over the last two years. A lot of times he's able to just truck defenders in the open field, and he also has a really quick and powerful stiff arm. Most of the ways that he breaks tackles though are with power. He doesn't really juke people out that often, but I think in the NFL, he'll be able to add a lot of production after the catch. I think he has good, but not great ball skills. He's able to shoot his hands up quickly out of his breaks. He has great concentration on tight window throws, and and he has the size and frame to develop into a great contested catch tight end. I think in Tucker Craft's best case scenario, he projects as a high end red zone threat. But there were a good amount of focus drops on his tape. He's had 12 drops for his career. There were some times that he tried to turn up field and run before he could secure the catch. And he was 9 for 12 in contested catches in 2021, but 0 for 4 last year. And he needs to do a better job understanding spacing along the sideline and knowing how much room he has to work with. He'll try to go over the top of the defender when he could just widen out and make an easy catch over the shoulder. And then with run blocking, there were flashes of dominance, but he does need to improve the consistency with his hand placement and footwork. He gives a maximum effort as a run blocker and he has the play strength to put people on the ground and he can accelerate and get downfield and block defenders at the second level but he does kind of lean into blocks and he needs to improve his pad level so he can generate power consistently so my grade for tucker craft is a 476 which is a late third round grade he's my 78th ranked player and my sixth ranked tight end and he's 66th on the consensus board i think middle second round to early fourth round is probably where you see him go off the board thanks for watching if you enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe also let me know in the comments any NFL draft prospects that you'd like me to cover.